Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of an air quality monitor detector. It's from the Ament brand, A-I-M-E-N-T. It's five in one, and it'll detect changes in the air quality. Right now I have the unit on. I've got the studio lights dim so that you can see the display. When you first turn the unit on, it takes about two minutes to start. There's the power button right there. You hold it down. And what happens is it heats up the sensors and starts reading the data. Now this will monitor carbon dioxide and uh, you want it to be between 400 and 1000 at CO2, which is that one right there. Then formaldehyde, which is HC, HC, HO, which is right there. You want that to be below 0.94 and you can see it's 0.02. Volatile organic compounds, the TVOC, which is right there. It ranges from 0.3 to 0.5. You can see it's at 0.1 or 0.2, so that's good. Carbon monoxide, which is the CO right on the top there. You want to have that generally less than nine, so you can see it's a little higher on this display. Probably because I was working with a gas stove down here and it wasn't igniting properly, so that would explain that. There's an air quality index, AQI, which is right there. And you want that to be less than 50. You can see it's really low and that's overall air quality. So there's a lot of pollutants in our world. And this is kind of a new technology. I've never seen this before. I wanted to be able to monitor all these things in my house to feel a little confident that my filters are working and that my furnace isn't putting out carbon monoxide. And this is the way to do that. So this has um, a series of what's called DART electrochemical sensors in there. And they're internally in here. And on the back of this, there is openings for the air to pass through. And on the top here, there is a button called a new and that will essentially restart all the sensors and then there's a reset right there which will reset all the numbers and anytime you want to shut it off you just hold that button down like that and it turns off now there is a really good chart that uh, they have on the listing I'd recommend that you laminate that chart because it has all the different states and ranges on here now another thing that's unique is there is a little green LED right there and that's telling me that it is fully charged. That'll go to yellow and then to red letting you know you have to charge it. It takes about two hours to charge and this will run for about four or five or six hours. Now it comes with a USB-A to USB-C cable and you can plug that in. We're going to try that right now. This cable is really nice. It's about five feet long. We're going to plug that side in off camera to a two amp port and the other end we're going to put into the unit on the side right there it goes right in just like that now there is a red led that the camera is not going to pick up but in a dark room that led will extinguish when it's fully charged but what's nice is you can use one of those usb adapters that you have laying around your house like i have and you could keep this thing powered if you want to or you can shut it down and just get readings. Now you also notice that there is a display right there and it is telling me that it is charging and that's giving you kind of a status. So again, eliminate the chart so that you get a good feel for what all these things really mean. Now you can look online, but uh, formaldehyde you know, is a colorless, highly water soluble gas has a bad odor, it's not really good for you. CO2 is a greenhouse gas that's natural harmless in small quantities, but you don't want it to be inhaled in large quantities. TVOC is a volatile organic compound, one of the main pollutants of home decoration pollution. And uh, you know, the air quality index is looking at a combination of different things all together. So it's really nice to be able to see this. I've never seen anything like this. And I like the fact that using old school LEDs red because uh, you can see it in any angle there's no weird LCD kind of effect going on and they have the units on here if you notice milligrams per cubic meter 
uh, milligrams per cubic meter, parts per million, parts per million. And uh, the AQI is a, is a reference number that doesn't have a unit. But if you notice, the other ones do have the units on there. And again, with that laminated chart, you're going to be able to know exactly uh, what you're seeing, what these numbers really mean. And to give you an idea of the size of this, it's relatively small. You can see my hand is larger than it. And if you look at the overall size of this, it looks like it's about, oh, four and a half inches long by about two and a half inches wide. And it's only about an inch depth. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. You can put it on any counter. And what's nice is it's mobile. So right now I'm in my studio basement and I'm getting readings. And I could reset the display and I can go upstairs and I can get readings in my bedroom in the first floor or the second floor. So anytime you want to get any kind of readings of the air quality that's in your house, this is a great way to do that. So I've never seen anything like this and uh, I'm impressed with the accuracy of it. And uh, it just seems to be a really cool product to have in your home so that you feel comfortable about the environment that you're in. Uh, if you're sensitive to certain things, I know a lot of people are sensitive to um, the formaldehyde smell, you know, and they want to know exactly what that is. You always want to be worried, worried about and concerned about C, uh, CO2 and CO, and the overall air quality index is important. So this is a really cool device. It seems to be well made. I'm going to give it a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.